What's up you guys? My name is Josh Doyle and as many of you know this YouTube channel has been primarily focused on e-commerce, Amazon, eBay, uh, and reselling content. Now what some of you don't know is that I'm actually a full-time real estate investor as well and I'm aiming to put out a lot more content uh, around real estate investing. So with that being said, guys, I'm starting a new series on this channel that I'm gonna be adding to everything, um, which is gonna be called Money Mondays. So every Monday, I'm gonna come uh, out with a new video of analyzing a deal, whether it's in my area, an area that you guys are in, you guys can send me properties and I'll analyze the deal, whether they're good, bad, whatever they are, um, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I run the numbers on deals. Now, with that being said, for this first episode, I'm gonna run down a deal that we just picked up. Uh, we closed on April 11th. So I'm gonna hit the whiteboard. I'm gonna show you guys exactly um, what we're projecting for this project. And if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section down below. I will answer every single comment. And guys, if you like this video, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this. So with that, let's get into it. Okay guys, so we bought this property for 425,000, okay? Uh, we got an 80% 80, 80 loan to value ratio at the bank, which means that they gave us a mortgage of $340,000. Now, the difference between these two, we had to put down 85,000. That was our down payment. Okay. Now we got a mortgage for 30 years at 3.39%, which gives us a mortgage payment of $1,501 per month. Okay, guys, that's just straight up how it is at the moment. Now, this project, guys, is a single family home. And what the, what our idea here is to force appreciation for, and force cash flow is to actually cut this property in half. So the main floor in the basement is going to be one unit. It's actually going to be a three bedroom unit. And the second floor in the loft is going to be another three bedroom unit. So there's going to be six bedrooms in this property for a total of two units that we're converting it into a legal duplex, guys. So what we're gonna be doing here is for the main floor rent, I'm gonna put this over here, guys. Main floor, we're actually aiming to get $1,650 per month. Excuse my, uh, my writing, I'm gonna to try to clean it up here a little bit for you guys. Now, the second floor apartment, guys, we're actually looking to get $1,850. Per month, this equals a total of $3,500 per month of rental income. So this is the important number right here, guys. Our estimated or our target rental income is $3,500 a month. Right now, our mortgage payment is $1,501 a month. But in order to achieve this, guys, it's going to cost us some money. It's gonna cost us, we're estimating about $100,000 to split this property and do the renovation. So, over here guys, it's gonna cost us, let's just write this down. We're gonna get $100,000 for the renovation costs. We've got $85,000 for our down payment. We've got closing costs of $6,000 that we've already paid on this property to close on it. I've got holding costs, guys, $12,000, 300, it's 12,600, sorry, $12,366. Um, these holding costs are what we're estimating that the property is gonna be vacant for six months. So if you take basically our bare minimum utilities, our property tax um, and our mortgage payment for six months, 
we're gonna be paying out about $12,366. Uh, that's how long we estimate the renovation is gonna take. So in total, guys, the amount of cash invested in this property, if you add all this up, is $203,366. Now, remember, that that's another important number. That's our total cash invested in this property between, like I said, closing costs, down payment, um, holding costs, and the renovation. So what that means, guys, is that after we do this conversion and turn it into two, uh, two separate units, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the bank and since we've added so much value to the property, we're gonna get the bank to reappraise the property. We're gonna say, come on out, tell us what this property is worth now because we're doing something very special over here. And what we're estimating is gonna happen here is that the bank is gonna come out and they're gonna reappraise the property for $650,000. Okay, this is what we call an after repair value, ARV. Now, if the bank comes out and tells us the property is worth $650,000, which we know is going to happen because we can base that number off other comparables in the area, and I'm being conservative with that number, guys. What they're going to say is, we will now give you a new mortgage amount or give you a new loan based on the value here. And we will give you a mortgage amount, 80, uh, loan to value, 80% to 20%, just like we got over here, guys. So if that's the case, our new mortgage amount, guys, if they give us 80% uh, loan right here is 520000 Okay, this is gonna be our new loan right here, 520,000. So when they give us a new loan for 520,000, we can now take this and we have to pay off the first loan here of 340,000, which gives us $180,000 remaining. That $180,000 remaining is gonna go towards paying off this 203, 366 down here. Because this is the cash that we have remaining in this deal. So obviously 180,000 is not gonna pay off 203. There's gonna be a, a difference there that is remaining. And that difference, guys, is 23,000. $366. Now what that means is that we are going to have at the end of the day, $23,366 roughly, give or take a bit. We're going to have this much money still invested in the property. Okay. But that's amazing guys, because what does that mean for us? If we have a new mortgage of 520,000, our new mortgage payment, our new mortgage monthly payment is actually going to be $2,296, okay, per month. I know this is looking kind of crazy here, guys. This is what our new mortgage payment is now going to be. Now, I've added up how much the property tax is going to be the insurance, uh, a 5% maintenance reserve fund, gas, hydro, vacancy. These are all called operating expenses. These are the expenses. It's going to, um, the expenses, uh, this is how much it's going to cost to operate the property on a monthly basis, all the expenses. Now what that, I'm not going to write it all down guys, but what that number is, um, is $804, or sorry, $840. So our, I'll write it right here, operating expenses equal $840 per month, okay? 
So if we take our operating expenses per month and we add it to how much we owe the bank for the mortgage payments, we come up with $3,135.97. This is how much it's going to cost for us to pay the bank their $22.96 a month and our operating expenses to operate this property. It's going to cost $3,135.97. Now guys, we're making over here $3,500 a month income. So let's take our income and let's subtract how much it's going to cost us to operate this property. And what we're left over with is our total monthly cash flow. Now our total monthly cash flow guys is $364.00. Per month. Now, if I convert this, if I multiply it by 12, we're left with $4,368 per year in cash flow. The, the holy grail, guys, cash flow, baby. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe all this off. And I'm going to show you guys how I calculate my return on investment now based on the fact that we know what our cash flow is and we know exactly how much money is being left in the property, which is right here, 23,366. Okay guys, here's the part you have all been waiting for. Check it out. So we're looking at $4,368 per year in annual cash flow. Okay, now if we take that number, we take how much money we're gonna make annually and we divide it by how much money we actually have invested in the property, we're left with an 18.6% return on investment. Guys, this is a cash on cash return. What this means is how much cash we're making a year divided by how much cash we have in the actual investment gives us our cash on cash return on investment, 18.6%. That is unbelievable, guys. You do not see these type of numbers every day, especially in a hot market like Hamilton, Ontario. Now, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna show you guys what the internal rate of return, the IRR, uh, is on this property. Now, what this is, is it's the cash flow, the annual cash flow that we have right here, and you add how much money the tenants are paying in principal pay down per year. Now, for the first year, it's just over $10,000. You add that together, and you're left with $14,613. Just to backtrack guys, where you get this number is the amortization schedule. You check and see how much principal the tenants are actually paying down every single year. Every year that goes by, this number increases and your mortgage balance decreases. So this is just for the first year guys. So if you add these together, not accounting for appreciation, when I speak to potential investors, I don't like to account for appreciation in my calculations because appreciation is not guaranteed, guys. The market can go up, the market can go down, you don't know. What is guaranteed is if you have tenants in the property paying your mortgage payment, you're making cash flow. And if they're in there paying it, they're paying down your mortgage. These two numbers, guys, are more guaranteed than appreciation especially in a hot demand market like Hamilton. Rent is, the rental demand is like through the roof. It's insane. Vacancy is, I don't want to say zero because it's, it's you know, but it's, it's pretty damn close. You can always find a renter. So back to the IRR guys, little uh, rant there. You take the cash flow, you add the annual principal pay down, and I'm left with $14,613 that I will make in the very first year on this property. Now, if you divide that by how much money you have in the property, guys, this is a 62.5% return on investment. I don't know what to say about that other than I can definitely guarantee you guys aren't getting this in any stocks, bonds, unless you're playing some highly speculative stocks, um, you're not getting this kind of return. Most real estate investments, you're not getting this kind of return. 
So this right here, guys, is a slam dunk home run of a deal. This goes to show the power of being creative in real estate, uh, you know, turning something that's a single family into a duplex, a multifamily uh, rental property. This is, the, this is what happens, guys. When you add value to something and you burr something, which is a buy, you buy something, you, you renovate it, um, you rent it out, you refinance it, and you repeat the process. So you bet that when I pull all my money out of this property, I'm gonna be taking care of that last R, which is repeat the process. I wanna repeat this process as many times as possible, get as many properties under my belt that are generally returns like this, and uh, create long-term generational wealth, baby. So this is the first deal, guys. I hope you like this, Money Mondays. If you guys like stuff like this, please smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be doing this every single Monday. Uh, not all deals are going to be as good as this. I'm going to be picking deals from my market, other people's markets, deals that you guys send me. And uh, we're going to see. We're going to see what's good, what's bad, and uh, and everything in between. So once again, guys, please like, that, like the video, smash the like button, and uh, hit the subscribe. And please leave a comment below, guys. Let me know if you guys like this video, if you have any suggestions, uh, and if you have any properties you want me to look up. Thanks guys, I'll see you next Monday.